Hi, now this is our latest little pickup. This is the FAF 238 6BS X6. This is a fantastic long arm zigzag straight stitch industrial machine. And over here which is a domestic machine, which is the FAF 130-6 which is set up for double needle. You notice there's two tensioners to the left there which is over here. So you've got the two tensioners and it's also set up down there so you can put two needles on it as well. But have a good look at the actual zigzag mechanism on that and then compare it to the zigzag mechanism on this and you'll see there is a lot of similarities. <coughs> now we often say the difference between an industrial machine and a domestic machine is the actual power of the motor. That 130 is solid enough to go on this machine with the industrial motor and you'll sew upholstery and the like lot with that machine but the motor on this for the domestic is not strong enough to do it. So the machine is domestic or heavy duty capable but with the motor it's only domestic. So we'll have a look at this one the 238. I've got a 16100 needle on this and we'll see if we can four, four thicknesses and you can just see how beautifully no effort whatsoever that that's going through four thicknesses of heavy canvas and the difference is with machines is when you turn over and have a look at the back is if an industrial machine pulls the thread back in to being a very very neat looking stitch where a lot of the lesser strength machines don't complete the stitch once you get into heavier fabric it has trouble with catching so that'll give you a little bit of an idea of the difference between what we think a domestic and an industrial is. But a lot of the 1950s, 60s and 70s machines, even the domestics, you could fit those onto a domestic motor or put a domestic motor on them and they are strong enough where the modern machines today are not. So that's our little scenario on this and thank you very much.